Next up in the series, we have tomatoes. These tomatoes, because it's summer in Rhode Island, just were picked. So if you can buy tomatoes on the vine, or if you pick them from your garden from the vine, the vine, just like many other fruits and vegetables, if you can re leave the vine or the root tip or the greens on the product, it'll stay fresher because it reduces the moisture loss. With tomatoes like this, globe tomatoes, um, when you're storing them, and tomatoes should always be stored at room temperature, especially if they're not fully ripe. If they're starting to go bad or soft, you can put them in the refrigerator to reduce the um, ripening rate, but they won't last much longer in the refrigerator. Tomatoes actually taste better when they're stored at room temperature and emit better flavor at room temperature. So even if you're gonna to have to refrigerate it, it's best that you pull them out prior to serving them and eating them. I typically put mine on a counter or in a flat surface like a cookie sheet. And with globe tomatoes like this, it's better to store them when you can with the vine side down. This helps distribute the weight and helps um, not crush the tomato. These are assorted types of cherry, pear, and plum tomatoes. Um, I picked them and I just left the stem end on. And I will put, like I said, put them out on the counter or on some sort of cookie sheet or flat surface. And I typically want to keep them as um, loose as possible, not stacked all on top of each other, not several layers because they need to breathe and needs air circulation. Tomatoes are ethylene producers. So the more packed they are um, and closer they are, they're gonna feed off of each other's ethylene gas and ripen quicker. Which isn't a bad thing if, that if you actually at the end of the season when you go to your garden and you have those green tomatoes, but you also have some ripe tomatoes that either buy at the supermarket or you have ripe tomatoes from your garden. If you put the green ones in a bag with the ripened ones, it'll help the green tomatoes start to ripen. Same thing with bananas. And when we talk, get the bananas in that video, we'll talk about that as well. So let's get back to tomatoes. We said they're ethylene producers. Um, when you're at the supermarket, you want to make sure that they don't look bruised have any cuts or blemishes. You wanna smell them, especially from the root end. They should be aromatic. It should be like an earthy, kind of a, like a V8 um, herby smell if they're fresh. You wanna make sure in the supermarket, there are different types. There are some on the vine uh, that are ripened with ethylene gas. There are some that look under ripened and have no flavor and mealy. Um, tomatoes are really seasonal products that are best when they're right in season from your backyard or from your farmer's market. But we know tomatoes are available all the time. So if you're gonna buy tomatoes, um, once again, don't always, don't have to buy, even if it's on a vine like this and you don't want six that are on the vine, break it into two. Only buy what you're gonna use. Tomatoes are best when stored from 55 to 70 degrees. Any cooler than 55 degrees um, it'll lessen the ripening process and that's why putting them in the refrigerator if they're starting to over, over ripen is a good thing. But you would want to put them at the higher part of the refrigerator which is typically in most refrigerators a little bit warmer than the lowest section of the refrigerator um, and put them in a, a bowl or a container so if they do start to uh, drip out water or sweat that it doesn't uh, mess up your refrigerator shelf and you're going to have to clean it. You can, as I said, also ripen them in a brown paper bag. So if you buy them or you get them at home and they don't taste ripe, you can put them in a sealed paper, brown paper bag, and that'll help ripen them. Cherry and grape tomatoes will typically last longer um, than a globe tomato, just because they're typically a little bit, a little bit firmer. Um, just depends on when they were picked. And if you picked them at home or if they were picked in a field, green or somewhat ripened and then they shock and inject ethylene gas into a container into a box to help ripen them and you should never wash your tomatoes prior to storing them moisture is the enemy of the tomato when it comes to storing them especially on the shelf it'll they'll start to rot um, also the other thing you want to do is if you are storing your tomatoes out on a shelf or some or your countertop make sure every couple days maybe move them around um, because if they are starting to rot or um, um, ooze some liquid, sometimes that will dry fruit, attract fruit, fruit flies um, and other types of outside flies and you don't want that. So inspect them um, and then make sure you're eating them um, as soon as you can. So this has been Associate Professor and Chef at Johnson Wells, Douglas Duchel. Join me for my next video.